Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We have some new potential DLC updates and theories to take a look at for the Generation 9 games. We also have some new leaked images for a new Nintendo Switch in regards to the new Zelda game coming out. A few other bits and bobs to go over. There's a lot of stuff to talk about today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Really, really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, let's take a look at this thread by Soul Silver Art talking about the third legendary Pokemon and how it could be introduced into the DLC for the Generation 9 games. Sorry that my voice is a little bit weird at the moment. I'm a little bit ill. Um, content's got to continue though, so you'll have to bear with me for like today's video and probably tomorrow's. Hopefully I'll be fine in a couple of days. Um, but yeah, I do apologize for that in advance. But either way, uh, we have the thread here. So they're saying, I've had this theory for a little while now that if you flip the image of the third legendary upside down, it could be seen as the crater of Area Zero with the legendary at the bottom. Then I saw pics of the time machine and it hit me. It's the disc Pokemon. So yeah, as you can see, they have flipped the third legendary image upside down. So this is Area Zero in regards to this theory. Um, so this would be like the first part of Area Zero. This would be like the second. This would be the third. And then this down here would be like the crystallized section at the very bottom of Area Zero where you battle like Sarda and Turo and stuff like that. Which makes sense because then the legendary would be at the very bottom, like beneath uh, the, the, the fourth part of Area Zero. And we're expecting in the DLC to go down further into Area Zero. Zero, and that's where we will meet this third legendary, potentially Heath um, and Paradox Weekly and Paradox Vision and stuff like that. So yeah, this definitely kind of adds up to be the shape of uh, Area Zero. We then have Soul Silver Art going on to say, could that time machine area with all of the reflective glass slash crystals actually be inside of the third legendary's orb slash shell? planet that it's on top of in the image the biggest point against this is that the shapes of the glass are more triangular instead of hexagonal well yeah i mean you can kind of see the resemblance here we spoke about this quite a bit that this kind of like crystallized image uh, like a part of the image could actually be this uh, place here which does make a lot of sense because this is a very random like not really a random location but it's a very important location and as you can see it's quite close to the third legendary as well so um yeah and obviously you're talking about like the scarlet and the violet book here as well so it definitely makes sense and he goes on to say you know if it was all hexagonal i'd have no doubt but even those uh even though these shapes are still moving and changing so a case could be made and it seems these triangles are actually inside of bigger hexagons I haven't reached uh, this part of the game yet, so I've only seen this in pics and can't fully confirm. I mean, like I say, this was from one of the trailers as well. I think this was the second trailer with these triangular kind of shapes as well, like this crystallized thing in the background that a lot of people had no idea what it was. A lot of people thought it was like terrestrialization and stuff, but I don't think it was. I think this is just in regards to the third legendary and like the deeper parts of Area Zero. Uh, then goes on to say, which is why I was waiting to post this theory until yesterday when I saw this theory by light. I haven't been able to figure out why... Uh, uh, this would be called the disc pokemon why does it resemble a brilliant disc but from these images the time machine truly resembles uh, and seems to function like a cd disc reader because obviously this is the information we have on the third legendary saying you know a disc pokemon while well, separated from the research team in the crater's depths i found a strange entity whether it was a pokemon or alive at all i not uh, i know not it bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than gemstones viewed as a whole it resembled a mysterious brilliant disc um, and yeah then goes on to say if uh, the time machine is a disc reader the instant connection is made to the disc pokemon if the time machine actually is the third legendary or a part of it maybe it's dragon slash steel type which oddly makes sense to me um, because I thought uh, Baxcalibur should have been steel, but maybe they saved that typing for this. Also, could the crown on the back of the legendary be glowing at the center of uh, the, the back spinning part of the time machine? Not forgetting my first point that this is all of the flipped upside down. So yeah, could be like, again, regarding the secret weapon, which a lot of people are kind of making ties with from Kalos to Paldea. Um, again, very, very well could be. Maybe it's not the machine, but it just powers it, or maybe it's still not a time machine at all, but instead a reality uh, machine slash Pokemon. Sada slash Turo could have built parts of it around the Crystal Dome. All just theories in the end, so, so I hope it, uh, so it could be a bit off, but I hope you enjoyed. Uh, also, I just noticed something slightly unrelated, but when you flip the third legendary pick, the black outer space part of it looked like the gemstones found in AZ's 
uh, and the strange light itself in the Guardian 3rd Legendary. The same light could be shining from the Time Machine too. Um, so yeah, it definitely makes sense that like this could in fact be a disc reader um, because we know that the 3rd Legendary is the disc Pokemon. And uh, yeah, I definitely think that this is Area Zero, this thing that's kind of like it's kind of on top of or like below it's just kind of controlling it it looks to be like the the entity that is controlling area zero which again would make sense because you know creators is behind terrestrialization and stuff like that and so uh, yeah definitely adds up for me 100 that this is area zero and the legendary is just below it and again we're going to go deeper into area zero uh in the first dlc or the only dlc we don't know how many dlc packs we're getting and that'll be where we find the third legendary so that's really interesting theory so shout out to soul silver off for that moving on we of course have the new time limited um scarlet via terror ray battle with cinderace uh, make sure you can do this because uh, obviously you'll only get another chance um after this but it would be nice to do it now and get out of the way. Uh, you can do this by connecting your Nintendo, Nintendo Switch uh, to the system to the internet or by selecting Poke Portal in the X menu, then Mystery Gift, then get Poke Portal news. After that, whenever you see a sparkling pillar of light shining uh, from a Terra Ray crystal, you can walk up to the crystal, interact with it, and start a Terra Ray battle with a Terra Pokemon. Uh, so this event, Cinderace, can only be caught once per save data. It's, of course, shiny locked. Uh, you'll still be able to uh, participate in Terra Ray battles against it after this and obtain rewards such as significant amounts of XP candy. This event will also be run again between the 12th and the 15th of January 2023. So yeah, best counters for this, I think, are like Slowbro, uh, Armor Rouge, Pelipper is also a really good one with like Drizzle and stuff. Esparth, Esparth, Espathra, or however you pronounce it, the bird Pokemon. So yeah, they're the kind of counters for it. Fairy types, not very good because it does have Iron Head. Um, so yeah, you're like Grim Snarls and... I mean, Dash Bun's okay because of, like, Howl and stuff. It can work, but at the same time, it does have Iron Head, which is a bit unfortunate. Azumarill is obviously neutral to Steel-type moves because it's Water-type as well. But, um, yeah, like I say, Slowbro, etc. are probably the best options for this Pokemon. Uh, moving on, we also have this information as well about um, new sales for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This was tweeted out by Poke Experto saying, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet lead video game sales in Japan for another week. Improves the trend for Christmas. So it got an additional 300. 75,665 sales, making the total sales in Japan 4,388,931. So the games are still selling really, really well um, in Japan, which again is surprising because, you know, it is very common knowledge now about all the bugs and stuff. I mean, the games are incredible, don't get me wrong. I really, really enjoy Scarlet and Violet, but the games are still quite broken in regards to glitches and bugs and stuff like that so uh yeah it's quite surprising that a lot of people are still buying the games even with the knowledge that they are very buggy and, and glitched and stuff like that i don't expect an update before the end of the year now uh we've only got a couple of days until the end of the year or one day or whatever um so yeah we're, we're most likely not going to get that update hopefully next uh week we get one at the start of january but we'll have to wait and see but uh yeah interesting the, the sales are still doing really well and again you also have to think like if these games just keep selling this well they're probably going to do more open world games in the future because they know that's what people kind of want to see uh moving on we also have this new nintendo switch kind of uh oled model leaked online so uh rumor leaked images of zelda tears of the kingdom switch oled model appear online again this isn't pokemon related but if you do want to uh uh, see this new switch model and stuff like that this is it so uh, as there's images of a special edition legend of zelda tears of the kingdom nintendo switch oled model have surfaced online with photos of a zelda themed dock and set of joy cons plus the box apparently found in the chinese forum and posted to uh, these different websites they show a pair of gold joy cons sporting green left and white on the right motives from the game and white rear panels to match the dock the dock has similar gold markings uh, across the front with the near of the console itself which is black featuring subtly embossed motives similar to those found on the other special edition consoles so this is the box here um so as you can see these are the different joy cons here so it looks really really nice and then it has like this kind of poor uh they're actually playing pokemon here as well i i, I wanted i wanted so badly for like the third legendary to be like leaked on this or something like that it would have been crazy um but uh yeah it wasn't unfortunately but uh yeah this is the box uh this is the switch uh, it looks really nice i still like the scarlet and violet switch oled more but Again, this will probably get announced in the in the near future. Would not be surprised at all. Um, but yeah, that is everything for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider hitting the like button down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Of course, let me know your thoughts on this theory here. Do you think this is Area Zero and the third legendary is kind of like below it, which again makes sense for the DLC. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on that. Subscribe if you're brand new. And uh, yeah, have a fantastic rest of your day. And, and until next time, peace.